There's some great news tonight for drivers in central Arkansas. The Interstate 30 crossing project is now considered substantially complete. Channel 7's Emma Allen joins us live with a more on what that means, the project, and what it's going to mean to you as well. Emma. Chris, in terms of money, the, cr the 30 crossing project was the biggest project RDOT has ever taken on, and now the project is coming to an end. Commuters in central Arkansas have described the heavy amounts of construction as a headache since 2020. That's when the 30 crossing project began. Early on, you know, a couple of years ago, we would get a lot of calls about 30 crossing and the noise and the, uh, you know, just all the construction going on and the, you know, uh, detours that seemed like every week and people were not happy and we, we went, we understood that. But now that project is considered substantially complete. It has consisted of reconstructing nearly five miles of Interstate 30 and Interstate 40 in Little Rock and North Little Rock. Dave Parker, a spokesperson for the Arkansas Department of Transportation, says a study showed the project needed to happen because of the growing number of people using the roads. And it was concluded that something had to be done in terms of widening. You know, to have only six total lanes, three on each side, was not going to uh, bode well for the future. Currently, Parker says 125,000 cars drive in the area of Interstate 630, 30, and 40 every day. It's estimated by 2045, which is not that far off in construction uh, terms, that that increase is going to go up to about 145,000 cars a day. Parker credits the success of the project to the taxpayers. Yes, without the issue one uh, money, uh, without the support of the public uh, letting this project go through, we knew it was going to be a heavy lift, a four to five year project, the most expensive in the department's history. Uh, that's not an easy ask, and we knew it was really going to disrupt things in downtown Little Rock and North Little Rock and, and uh, for a good while. I think they're seeing uh, how it turned out, and they're very happy with it. Now, Parker says the project finished months ahead of schedule. It was originally scheduled to be complete in the summer of 2025. On your side, I'm Emma Allen. Okay, Emma, thanks very much. RDOT plans to hold a ribbon-cutting ceremony for the completion of the project tomorrow at 1 p.m. It's going to be in the parking lot of the Clinton Presidential Library.